What do you do if you need to share content from a web page while you're on a Zoom call or in a Teams meeting, but that web page has sensitive information that you don't want to share with your audience? Thank you. Well, with Zero Blur, you can do just that. Zero Blur is a free Chrome extension that's easy to install and allows you to blur out selected elements of a web page in Chrome. To get started, just search for the Zero Blur Chrome extension in Google and select this link. It should look something like this. Click the Add to Chrome button and Add Extension button in the pop-up. You'll know it's installed because the Add to Chrome button will say Remove from Chrome. If you can't see the Zero Blur icon in your extensions ribbon at the top of your browser, just click the extensions icon here and scroll down to Zero Blur and pin it. Now you can see the Zero Blur icon in the ribbon. So let's give it a try. I've headed over to the FE News website so we can see some of the features of Zero Blur in action. Select the Zero Blur icon and click Edit Blur, and you'll see a set of tools appear on the right hand side. Let's start with the first tool, Blur Element. With this tool, we can hover over any of the web elements and click to blur that part out like this. Now it's sometimes tricky to blur out text links as you can sometimes select these instead of blurring them. So you need to move around a little until you see the red dashed line around the specific element that you want to blur, like the menu bar here. The next tool is the blur arbitrary area, which lets you drag out an area to blur, like this area at the bottom of the screen. But before we get to that, if you're already getting value from this video, then please hit the like button below. So we select the blur arbitrary button and drag out an area we want to blur. If you accidentally blur out a section or you want to remove a blur you've applied, just click the trash can on that blur section. And if you want to hide the web page name in the tab at the top of the browser, just click the T symbol and you can toggle that on and off. The plus and minus buttons will allow you to increase or decrease the amount of blur you apply and you can hide the tools by using the X. What's great is you can move to a new page on that site and when you go back to your previous page, your blurs still apply can even apply the blur to all of the pages on the site using the glow button on the blurred web part. But when you navigate away from the site, the blur disappears. To remove all of the blurred sections in one go, just hit the trash button in the tools menu. Now I've tried Zero Blur with SharePoint and PowerPoint Online and the online version of Teams. And unfortunately, Zero Blur doesn't seem to work that well as Windows still thinks you're making a bulk selection when dragging out the arbitrary selection, which is a real shame. But if you're only sharing normal web pages, then Zero Blur should do just fine. So there you go, a really simple tool that should save you blushes and a GDPR claim the next time you're sharing a web page live with an audience. YouTube's now going to show you another video from a channel that they think you'll like. Let's see if they're right. And I'll see you again for another Tuesday Tech Tip.